Hi there, I'm Axel Wilkinson, back with another HitFilm tutorial. We've received a lot of requests on HitFilm.com for tutorials that covered text and title techniques, and so I created this effect as a response to that. So we'll very quickly look at how to create this title effect using the procedural fire in HitFilm Ultimate. I'm going to delete this completed effect so that we start over from scratch, and so we begin with a basic text layer containing whatever text you want. Then we need to create a black plane for our fire to live on. So make sure the color is black. Uh, this is just set to the same size as our project. Click create to get our plane. And then we will add our fire generator to that plane. If you don't see any fire yet, it could be because your playhead's at the start of the timeline. So just scrub that ahead a bit until the fire becomes visible. Now in the flammable region controls for the fire, we can set the layer to our text layer and we immediately have some nifty flaming text. So if burning text was what you were after, then you could just uh, spend a bit more time dialing in the shape of those flames and you'd be good to go. But since that's not our goal here, we're gonna go ahead and move on. Open the burn direction controls, and for the layer property here, we're going to select our text once again, and that's going to limit the flames kind of into the shape of the text. And now from here, we can use the simulation controls to adjust the movement. The source fill control adjusts how much of our source, which in this case is the text, how much of the source is filled with the fire effect. So as we bring this down, you can see it kind of thins that effect out. We want the final text to be pretty solid, so let's turn that up to around 77. Now we're going to keyframe the movement control. So go to the first frame on the timeline by pressing the home key on your keyboard, and then enable keyframing for the movement and crank it to 11, or in this case, three. And then we're going to advance 10 seconds on the timeline. And here, let's turn the movement all the way down to zero. And there's our animation as the edges of our text gradually tighten up to give us our final shape. Now I made a few more adjustments in the appearance controls. First, I wanted to keyframe the intensity of the flames so they start out less intense. And so to do that, I used the high temperature control so make sure your playhead is on the 10 second mark again. Then enable keyframing for the high temperature control. And to brighten things up, we're going to turn that down to about 0.45. Then we can hit home to jump back to frame zero. And we'll turn that control up to about three. Now let's dial in the color with the hue wheel. I chose a blue color originally, but you can select whichever color you prefer. Um, let's jump ahead a bit so we can actually see the effect. Maybe I'll use that color. And then the last thing is to add a little bit more of a fade to the start using the opacity control for the layer. So in the transform controls, uh, enable keyframing for the opacity on frame zero, set that to zero. I had to go down and turn off our text layer so it's hidden. And then we can jump ahead to 10 seconds again and turn that opacity all the way up. Now, if you wanted that to fade in faster, then you just need to move that second keyframe for the opacity closer to the start of the timeline. And there's our finished title. So a few more points to play with if you want to experiment with this uh, technique yourself. If you wanted to have any sort of image behind the title, then just change the blend mode for the layer from normal to add. And that way the black will be removed and you'll be left with just your title in front of whatever image you put behind it. And if you wanted to try an inverted version of this title, then in the flammable region controls, you could just clear that layer, remove our text layer there, set it to none. And then in the blocking region, select our text as the layer. And we'll get this inverted version of the same effect. So there you go. There's a quick text effect uh, created in HitFilm that you can experiment with. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't yet to our channel, and we'll have more tutorials like this coming in the future.